Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. I'm starting a new tutorial series on MS Excel. And this MS Excel contains from beginners, intermediate and advanced level. And also I'm making this video tutorial series into different parts. And this is the first video of this MS Excel which contains a beginner level. Let's continue. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Now let's open MS Excel. I'm typing here MS Excel and notice here, here I got the apps. Right click the mouse, run as administrator. Click S. And here we got our MS Excel application. And notice at the left side we got the recent files these are the ms excel files and at the right side it, which contains some default templates which will explain in future videos now at this moment i'm taking the blank workbook i'm selecting the blank workbook and here we got our ms excel book one book one is our file name and this book one now file right now we got sheet one this is a sheet if you check the ms word or html we call them as a pages but in ms excel we call the sheets at this moment in book one we got only sheet one you can have multiple sheets in single book one book one is our file name and, and this bar is called the title bar. If you notice here, the left side, there are two icons. One is a undo and a redo. If you want to access the tools, suppose if, if I want to add the save toolbar, the icon is added here, which is a shortcut. Instead of going file and save here, just simply add the icon here on the title bar if you don't want the icons here right click the mouse remove from the quick access toolbar or you can untick the save it's gone right. at this moment i'm leaving save i'm adding the save button now below this title bar there is a menu bar and each menu bar file which contains the recent files and everything the home bar below the home bar notice this is called the ribbon which contains the clipboard font alignment number style cells and everything if you click insert see the icons the tools has been changing in this ribbon page layout formulas data review view and I will explain each and everything in my future videos. Now below the ribbon we got the name box. If you notice here the name box A1. A is this one. This is a row. This is a column. A is a column. One is the row. So A1 the cell is selected. If you click somewhere notice here H is selected and the row is 8 the column H and row 8 have selected which will display in the name box and this one is a formula bar which I will explain in my coming up videos now come to the sheets the columns represents the alphabets. And those represents numbers. And each row and column condenses cells. Here, yeah, notice the cells. Now, if you notice here, I'm typing one, one. Now, I'm showing some default settings. If I add one, 
Notice when I put cursor at the corner of the cell, we got the plus symbol with the black color. Just drag and pull down. So here we got it copied all one 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 one. Now I want to add the serial numbers for that one two. So now we need to select both. I'm selecting one and two. Two cells are selected. Now notice the plus symbol has been changed when I mouse over on the cell border corner. I'm dragging the so here we got the serial numbers from 1 to 13. If you want more, you can drag. Now if you want to type multiplication 2, 4. Now again we need to select both cells. Just drag. So here we got the two table multiplication by 2. The numbers are multiplied by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, like that. Now, the same thing if I want to add the alphabet series A, B, and notice here I'm selecting both A, B. Now, when I drag down the cells, Notice here, I'm getting only AB is copying in all the cells, but it's not displaying like here how it displaying the serial numbers. But here in these alphabets, I'm not displaying ABCDF like that in the series. So for that, we need to add some formula which I'm showing now. A. Now. Here in the formula bar, L5, L is the column name and 5 is the row, uh, row. In L5 cell, I am adding the formula to display serial uh, alphabetic order. The formula is, is equals to cat code, code is a function plus 1. Now here in the code, I am adding the A which is L, the column and the row number is 4, 4, that's it, enter. Now we got B here, see, now I am selecting only B, not A, don't select A, select only B and come to the corner of the cell. Once you've got the plus symbol change, drag the cells. So here we got a displaying the alphabetic order. And also, if you want to display the weekends, uh, weekdays, Sunday, just drag and drop. So here we got the all the weekdays. The same thing, let's adjust this column, you can display sun and shortcuts, so here we got the weekends with the shortcut file. Now here I am adding Jan, so here we got the month names. You can add the full January, and here we got the month names from January to December. If you drag, see, it displays again January, February, March, April. And these are all the default settings except the alphabetic series. Now let's delete everything. Mm. Now if you want to remove the cells, 
the border lines go to page layout notice that the grid lines here we got the views are tick let's uncheck this one see the grid cells has been removed and also one more way we can do that go to file go to options click advance come to the bottom and here notice show grid lines let's tick that one if you tick the grid lines are visible and now we got the tick here in the view now if i want to change the grid cell border color again go to file options advanced come to the bottom the grid line color let's select the color red color and select and click ok see here we got the grid cells are in red border lines now let's remove this color of the border of the cells go to file options advanced come to the bottom I'm changing to automatic which displays the default grid line color now next thing now let's check how to increase the height and width of this cell for that we need to select the uh, row I'm selecting the row a6 row I have selected I want to increase the height of this rows rows of this cell for that in the home tab notice there is a cells in the format click that one and the cell size options are available here the row height the row height by default it's 15 I want to increase to 35 click ok so here we got the size of this uh, row 6 is, has been increased as well as we can increase the width also 35 click ok so here we got the row size height and width we can increase now let's get back to the normal layout layout for that I have used undo that's it in this video tutorial one i have explained the very basics of the ms excel in my lesson two i'll explain the little bit deep which cover the intermediate and advanced levels also in this ms excel tutorial series thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial